Good day, everybody, and welcome to S Zone Online. My name is Sven. My Twitch ID is Very Soft Hands, and I'm going to discuss now a topic that many people have asked me about, both in the chat and a few people in the clan. And it's really important, and it's more of an end game thing. You can get some small benefits early game, but not very much. It's the skill tree. To precursor it, or to let you know about it, it's not like American games. For all you English American gamers, it's it's not easy, and you're not going to ramp up your skill tree and become awesome at certain spells and things. It is not like that at all in any way, shape, or form. This is a long-term grinding skill tree. It's for late game. <laughs> Good luck, is all I can say. Um... There are some things that you can benefit around level 8 to 14 uh, for different skills, but for gun usage, it's more for benefiting way after, like, say, level 20, level 30, level 40 characters will get a big benefit from the skill tree. But until then, you kind of have to slug it out. So welcome to the skill tree. Sven, base skills, specs, advanced, available experience, and specialization points. I'm going to talk about all these, and then when you're done, don't forget to hit the button confirm, or press escape, and it'll ask you, do you want to save your changes? Click yes. If you don't, if you're not sure, click cancel or whatever. Okay, I am a military assault person. There's that stat. Here we go. We'll start with base skills, this stuff right here. You can scroll. Remember to check out that you can scroll in different windows here. I want you to know this. Very important for certain options. Like here. Learn to scroll so that you can actually read what it does. If you don't scroll, you won't see the definition sometimes. Alright, base skills. You want to double click these. Once you reach the level, take a look. You have to be level 1. I'm level 11. I'm level 11. So this will be kind of looking like uh, one of these pictures. It'll have a little red border. Double click them to activate the skills. And this one requires, say, level 5. If you were level 4, this one would have a red little border around it. And you try double clicking it, and it wouldn't say anything except for not available. So I've got all the skills up to my level, level 11. And uh, level 7 here is the submachine guns and nothing for a few levels and then they, then they go up to level 12. You guys on your own time can read what they do. I'm not going to explain everything. That would take a very long time in this video to explain all of these things. Read the definitions think them over, think them through again, and then the next day read them again and think them through and you'll start to figure them out nice and slowly because the skill tree is nice and slow so there's no rush to figure out what to do. Just double click on these and that's that. Next thing I'm going to teach you about is available experience. My character is level 11 and to reach level 11 and my current uh, XP amount, look down here in the bottom, is my green bar. My green bar, I'm at 1.44 million. And look here, in the brown bar, it says I've gotten 1.44 million. And I need 340,000 more to go to level 12. This, if I'd never spent anything in these tabs in this spec tree, if I never clicked on any of these arrows and clicked a plus, I would actually have this number match this, but I've spent some points into the specialization tree. So this number has gone down considerably from 1.4 million to 60,000 is all I have left out of all the levels and XP that I've gained. Every time you kill something, this number will go up, your bar will go up, and your available experience will go up. These are your experience points for this tree right here. Your specialization points I'll talk about in a second. So as you level, kill things, pick up things, 
you will gain experience as your character levels up and then it'll put that experience here. This is a pool of experience you can spend on this tree right here on all these tabs. Spend these points here. When you spend them you do not lose experience. The green bar does not go down. All right now let's talk about this tree here. I'm going to start with weapons. Hopefully you've picked the right type of character for you and uh, hopefully if this is your first character you did not go a mechanic or an engineer or something like that because it'll be very hard to level and learn the game later on as uh, as those characters. Hopefully you pick something like a Pathfinder or Assault or something like that. How to, how to know? Well, that's a different video, but there's what I am. You normally choose what you are around level f 3 to 6. Probably around 3 when you go to the police station for one of your first times and talk to the people in there. That's a different vi video for a different time. Right now I'm a assaulter, so I have everyone, let's, let's back up here, everyone in the weapons tab can have the pistol at 23,000 experience. This is good. You don't want the pistol at 69,000. This is saying how much experience out of this pool that you have to dump into this tree. It's only going to cost you 23,000 per point in the pistol. That's good. That's cheaper than a grenade launcher or a submachine gun. An assaulter doesn't use snipers very much, so I don't need points into the sniping, so it's okay if it's higher. It's saying it requires for 1.46,000. I don't care. It's, it can be as high as it wants, it could be a million, I'm not going to put a point into it. But what I do want as an assaulter, I use assault rifles. So I want the assault rifle to be at 23,000 and the pistol to be at 23,000. If you're a sniper and you choose the sniper class and it says sniper here, military sniper, your sniper will require 23,000 and it'll bump the sniper right to this position. And an assaulter will go somewhere in here. You only ever want to put points into your class, generally speaking. As you get more experience in the game, you might spread them out a little bit, depending on your play style. Okay. I'll show you those points in a, in a minute here. You can click through these things, click on them, see what they do, and then see what these things do. And so I don't need to describe to you what all these things are. Basically, in the Weapons tab, it makes you better at whatever gun you're putting the points into. But not yet. You won't get better yet. This is a long game, remember. <laughs> you're not going to get better yet. Just because you click here and click plus doesn't mean you're going to get better at it. Next, adding points. Let's add some points. I have 60,000 spend. It costs 23,000 each. We can add some points here. We could go like that and click confirm and we get another point into that tree. But before I do that, I want to show you this and this here. When you add a point, where does that point go? It goes right into this number here. Take a look, shotgun, zero points, assault rifle, 13 points. That means I've clicked this button 13 times at least. You're going to start out, let's just use the pistol since everybody has it. The pistol, the first box in advanced, actually I'm going to back up the spec points that you dump, that these go into these points that transfer into here, see how complicated it is? These points go here, that point goes here. These points are used to then actually upgrade your weapon or whatever tab you choose, whatever item. These points upgrade that. Then you will be better. Just because you add a point like this and click confirm it does not mean you will be better. You will not be better. Let's make that clear. But it will add a point in when you add these up and then dump them into one of these you will be better. Well let's talk about this one instead of the pistol. It says Prof Assault Rifles 1 Assault Rifle Handling Rank 1. It means you'll be better overall at using the assault rifle. Let's read the description of what this advanced skill actually means. Boom! Not available. I need spec points 300. I need 300 of these. 
That means I would have to click this button at least 300 times having enough experience, which I don't have, to get 300 of these little one points over to here. It says it requires 300 spec points. I have 13. I have to be at least level 5 while well, I'm level 11. And perk, it'll give you the assault rifles. It'll that, That'll be the perk. It's just short for me. And then you scroll down, assault rifle handling, rank 1. Well, obviously, if you did the math, 300 times that, and I've only got that much experience, I'm light years away from the assault rifle, that perk. And you're like, well, when am I ever going to get better at the assault rifle on the way as I'm leveling up? That's why it's a long game, but you can do these ones and this one here. Take a look, I've done this one. This is assault rifle handling. Reduces assault rifle wear and tear. Handy, because your gun is quite expensive to repair. And what does it require? I've learned it already. Spec points 15, level 5, I'm level 11, and a perk. So I've reduced my wear and tear. That means that I've clicked this button and added 15 points into here already, and then I spent these points and dumped them into that skill. So this button, since it's all lit up in a different color than these, actually shows me that I've dumped 15 points or 15 times that amount amount of experience from there into this. So now I'll, I'll have better wear and tear, means it'll cost less to repair my weapon, and my weapons will last longer. What if I want the next one over? Reduce assault rifle wear and tear by 20. The 20 does stack on top of the 30. So then if you were able to get both of these, you then have 50 reduction in wear and tear. This one says I need another 15 points, and it's in red because I don't have 15 here. It senses that. It requires level 9, I'm above that. And then, look at this, it requires Assault Rifle Handling 1. Assault Rifle Handling 1. So to progress down here, you'll have to slowly add the points from the spec points into here. And at the end, You'll reduce wear and tear by another 5 points, you have to be level 27, blah blah blah. What's this next one here? Accuracy. Increase the accuracy. That's actually pretty good because assault rifles are not that accurate. They're better than other guns, but, but not as good as you'd want for later on in the game for headshots and things like that, for animals and PvP. So you're going to want to increase the accuracy. Luckily, clicking on it, it only requires 15 points, which I almost have, but it also requires the assault rifle handling one, which is this one right here. So it's because I put 15 into here and acquired it, I now qualify for this one once I get up to 15 points, and I'm going to show you that right now in the video. So end game is more this one, 300 points, and earlier game you're going to want to do these kind of things right here. Maybe a couple into here and here, if you are really focusing on using your weapon. And, and that is correct that with 300 points required, you will have to save up 300 points and not level anything for 300 points worth to get a, a single point into that. That is huge, and that means you won't be benefiting in any of these tabs if you do want to save the 300 for that. It'll take you forever. Okay, I have that one. Let's increase this by one point. Give my assault rifle an extra point of accuracy. As you notice, I have 60,000 experience. It only requires 23 per point, and I need 15 points. I need two more points. So let's do this. There we go. It doesn't turn red because I have 46,000. Click confirm. Watch my 13 here turns to 15, and look at this, it shows yellow and yellow, meaning these are available now with my spec points. I could go here or here. Or I could just save them and just keep adding them for 6 million plus worth of XP here and save them and go for that. But I'm going to go for this one here. It says available, 15. Let's double click it. Learned. Boom. I'm going to confirm it just so I don't forget. Let's go back in. I now have this skill. Don't worry about the active skills. You don't have to drag it down. See, I can't drag it. I can't right click on it or anything like that. 
So that is that. It, this, nobody knows what it's for. We think it's for an upcoming update or patch to the game. Something that the developers were thinking about making, uh, maybe a limit of how many skills you can have active at any time. But right now it means nothing in the game. This game is in alpha, I believe, still. So, so now I have both of these, and it's green learned. I will be more, slightly more accurate in my rifle, and eventually this one, remember these stack, so if I add another few points in this one, it would be another four points on top of the one. That's pretty significant. And so by the time you do all these, that'll be a lot of points in accuracy. That'll be, you'll be pro star by then. So, um, okay. So now you're like, holy crap, when am I ever going to get these things? Here, 300 points for the first one, and then it's cheaper after that. Well, just to let you know, this is a long-term game. So here's my story for you, which I just finished telling another clan member, is when you're earlier in your questing, you're going to get little tiny bits of experience, and you're going to think it's going to take forever to get to that 6-7 million to get 300 points spec points there at 23,000 each point. Guess what? As you level up, the quest will give you more and more experience. The monsters you kill will give you more and more experience. And that being said, the, you're getting more and more experience per kill per minute. Your experience bar will level up slowly, but this will add up at the same rate. And when you're level 30, it'll take you five minutes to get, say, 10,000 XP, but when you're level one, it'll take you two hours or who knows how long. Well, it, it just, you get my point, it'll take a lot longer. So, what I'm saying is, when you get higher level, you're going to build up your experience pool to dump into the points a whole lot quicker. When you're level 20, it'll be really easy to dump a whole bunch of points into assault rifle at 23,000 and rack up those spec points. When you're level 20, level 30, the things you'll be accomplishing at that point, hopefully it'll, it'll be not quite exponential, but a nice ramp up in speed in acquiring available experience to dump into that, to dump into that, to dump into that, to then dump into that. So it'll be slow at first to save your spec points but it'll get faster and faster and as you learn the game it'll get faster and faster just to save up for your spec points um so in the other tabs here whatever's the cheap ones are better for your specific class it meets the purposes of your class i'm a salter as in abilities my class is supposed to be a fast moving and slightly healthy or have more health points and slightly better at carrying stuff than doing these other things. And so the game made it because I'm an assaulter. You'll have different ones for your different characters. Mine only requires 23,000, so it's the game kind of telling you maybe you should put some points into that. I actually spent some points into metabolism. Look at this. I've done 15, 10 points into that. At that rate, that's huge rate. I like that early game because it helps it's just a personal opinion. It helps my health regenerate faster when I run out of med kits and things like that. And it has been quite helpful to me. And I do notice a difference just with one uh, level one here and not level two yet. It does make a difference. So read them all and study them and figure out your playstyle, what matches, what things do you think will be helpful to you as well. Uh, if you're a Pathfinder, you might. Backpack might be only 23,000 and you'll be throwing stuff into the backpack. And uh, if I think of more things to add to this this video, I'll make a second video about the skill tree, but hopefully that helps. Message me in game. I'm a whole bunch of different character names. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of different ones. But message me in game and uh, or or ask a question in the comments of this video. And I'll be happy to try to assist you with that. And maybe we'll get on some voice chat and uh, and discuss anything that you would like to know. So there you have it. That's the skill tree. You watched me add some points into assault rifle. That, that looks pretty cool. Hope that helps. And 
and uh, happy gaming, guys. This is Sven on the game of S-Zone. See ya.